Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of The Daily presented by EA Sports FIFA 12. It's Friday, October 14th, here with Greg Lawless. I'm Nick Fershaw and Greg, we're gonna take a look at the biggest games this weekend. Start with a very big one, Friday night, the Rocky Mountain Cup, the Colorado Rapids at home against Real Salt Lake. 10.30 p.m. Eastern on ESPN2 and ESPN Deportes. There's a live chat here on MLSsoccer.com. And this game is usually a good one. We've seen a lot of drama in years past. It could be wild. And late goals in particular seem to be the norm, especially in the last couple of years. There, we've seen late goals that have earned draws and earned wins. And most recently, those all seem to fall Real Salt Lake's way. However, I think this time it's Colorado's time. They're still looking to clinch that playoff spot. If they win this game, they've got that spot in the postseason. They're also, I think, chasing Real Salt Lake to maybe get into third place in the Western Conference, knocking Salt Lake into the wild card zone. And I think the other reason for this is Omar Cummings is healthy and looking good. I think he's going to be a menace uh, tonight for Colorado. And also Jeff Lorenowitz and Paolo Mastroeni will look to control that midfield against an RSL midfield that is missing their captain, Kyle Beckerman. He's out with suspension because of that headbutt. He's going to be replaced by Jordani Alvarez, a relatively unknown player here he's only played three games for RSL this year he only joined the club about a month and a half ago and his own coach was like we didn't really know who he was before he joined him so an interesting uh, choice there for Christ to be putting him in in such a big moment and when it comes to the series don't forget Real Salt Lake got the win earlier mm -hmm. this season at Rio Tinto you talk about late goals a late one for Fabian Espindola yep. we all, all remember that RSL with the upper hand going into that game on Friday night. Another big game on Friday night with some playoff implications. That's the Portland Timbers at home against the Houston Dynamo. 10.30 p.m. Eastern on Match Day Live. We talk about John Spencer versus, versus Dominic Kinnear, the old coaches working together back in Houston, but there's a lot more at stake in this one. Yeah, we can sort of throw away all the storylines about the coaches in this one because now it's just about the playoffs. Right now, Houston three points up on Portland in that final wild card spot. The, Dy the Dynamo have been struggling lately, mainly with their form. It's not necessarily that the results have been all that bad, but their form just has not looked good. We think back to that Chicago game when they really had, they played a weakened Chicago team and they couldn't get it done even though they had the lead. And now they come up against a Portland team that I think is feeling very confident. Kenny Cooper starting to find his form late in the season. That could be very good for them. And John Spencer, a fiery coach. He's got them all fired up. You know the Timber Army is going to be out there and very loud. It's going to be a very difficult game, I think, for the Dynamo to get a result in this one. Portland, three, uh, three points back of the Houston mm -hmm. Dynamo in the playoff standings. Could be the last game of the season at Jeldwin Field unless yep. the Timbers can scrape out a playoff berth and get a home game in the wild card. Round. Let's move on to some big games on Saturday. Sporting Kansas City at home against the New York Red Bulls. 4 p.m. Eastern on Telefutura. A big game for the Eastern Conference. Mm -hmm. New York has struggled traditionally on the road this season. Going at Kansas City, what's going to happen? Well, you know what? New York are actually playing pretty well right now, though. If you look at their last six, seven games, only one loss in all of that. They are still coming off of that win against the Supporters' Shield winners, the LA Galaxy, a couple of weeks ago. They've had some rest. That has been huge. And I think their defense has really shored up several shutouts in a row now for the New York Red Bulls. However, you're right. They've struggled on the road, and Kansas City is very very difficult to beat at Livestrong Sporting Park. Kansas City, if they can get that win, they're into the playoffs, which would be huge for sporting in this first year when they're rebranded and everything, and they've got this new team, new stadium, everything like that. I think a playoff match at sporting, uh, Livestrong Sporting Park would be phenomenal. So I think if they can get a win, obviously they're in. Let's take a look at a big game with some playoff implications for two teams on the outside looking in. That's DC United at home on Saturday night against the Chicago Fire, 7.30 p.m. Eastern on Match Day Live. DC United, we know they struggled uh, earlier this week in Vancouver. They're going to get Dwayne De Rosario back, and they're up against the Chicago Fire team that Greg is basically out of the playoffs. Is this one DC can get? This is, I think, one that DC can win, especially if Dwayne De Rosario shows up and has a terrific game for them. But he must have a terrific game. If he is only mediocre tonight uh, or on Saturday, it's not going to work out for them. I don't think because Chicago have some weapons that they can really attack that back line for DC, which is their soft spot. You saw what happened in Vancouver. The center of the defense really broke down early in the first half, early in the second half, and gave up some goals. And that's where Chicago like to attack. Grazzini, Oduro, Niako, Papa will be back for the fire as well. So lots of weapons that they can go at the center of that DC defense. 
United now three losses in a row. It's not what they were looking for, but they're coming home. They have three matches left to get into the playoffs. It's not mathematically a must win for them, but it's certainly one of those that sort of emotionally it's a must win for them. Well, a lot of good storylines in MLS uh, this weekend, including Casey Keller, the final regular season home game for the Seattle Sounders, veteran up at Century Link Field. More than 60,000 people expected mm. to say goodbye to Casey well Keller deserved. in that one. And the Super Classico, don't forget, Sunday night, the LA Galaxy at home against Chivas USA out at the Home Depot Center. Uh, you can find a complete list of all the games on MLSsoccer.com, and you can also find the latest edition of Extra Time Radio. Greg, we spoke to Jeff Lorenowitz mm -hmm. of the Colorado Rapids about that Rocky Mountain Cup matchup, as well as Essie Baharmas, a referee from the 1998 World Cup. He is the only American currently serving on the FIFA Committee for Elite Referees. He talked to us about that great game in 1998 and what U.S. referees are doing to improve. You can catch that on iTunes and Buzzsprout. And also, we want to mention, El Himidor is going to try and get you to the MLS Cup on November 20th out at the Home Depot Center in Carson, California. Go on to their Facebook page at facebook.com slash El Himidor. Click on the Your Rules, Your Shot tab. Come up with a rule for the 100% real fan. Greg, what's your rule for the day? My rule for the day, Nick, is know what the Rocky Mountain Cup really means because this is a big one that's taking place on Friday night. Yeah, it really is one of the best rivalries in yep. the league, and we've said uh, this is one of the best rivalries on the field. Again, that game, 10.30 p.m. Eastern on uh, ESPN2 and ESPN Deportes. That does it for us. For all the latest headlines and the schedules and the playoff standings, log on to MLSsoccer.com.